what's popping, YouTube. You already know what it is. God's brilliance in the building. We gonna dissect this video. So I hear a lot of men asking, well, what do you bring to the table? And women are now so attractive and, you know, making money and all these things. So we feel like, well, that automatically makes me a good catch. Look at me, I'm attractive and I make some money. Do you understand that even if you have a good paying job, a man will walk past your six figure making self and as, as attractive as you are and go to the mugly girl at Burger King because she knew how to be his piece and how to give him what he really was looking for. It doesn't matter what you make. Men don't care. When men ask you, what do you bring to the table? They're simply asking, do you know how to be my peace will you listen to me will you encourage me will you help me to pursue my dreams and to be a better man and a human being are you compassionate are you kind are you loving are you nurturing will you pray with me will you pray for me I'm out here fighting the world I don't want to come home and fight with you too if I'm gonna fight I hope that you'll fight with me and fight for me are you going to be everything that I need because at the end of the day what I'm really looking for is peace and stability they will walk past everything if you're not that Videos like this has to be created in, in today's time. It's, and you would think something like that is so simple. That's when you factor in the different kinds of men, because let's not get it twisted. I am aware that a lot of men are not meant to be leaders in this lifetime. Do not have a purpose, do not have a passion. Thus, they don't have much going on with their life. But I am talking about those kind of men that women have a hard time recognizing and easily screw things up with. So what she said in this video, let's think about it. Being a man's peace. We're gonna start off with when you get to know a woman, if she has both parents in her life, not to say every single, single parent home the child is doing it, because it's not that, right? There is exceptions to the ruling. However, statistics and data do not lie. So the more a woman comes from a two-parent household, the more likely she is able to know what a valuable man is and know how to not take one for granted. If she didn't grow up, with her father, there might be some type of deficiency there. And that ain't necessarily her fault, it's just life. You only live life through your experiences. So if she grew up not seeing a woman, her mother value a man, how can she value a man? How can she know how to be a man's peace? How can she know how to support and not fight with her man like she's a man? You get what I'm saying? That is not what the internet is pushing. Not with the Cardi B's and the Manga Stallions. No, now, if you're a man in today's world, you're not even really respected unless you are already somebody. Unless you are that dude already. Here's a real picture, fellas. That's why it's so important that you to never, and I mean never, make a woman the center of your life. I'm telling you. It backfires on you every time. You need to have something wrong. Something that really drives you when you wake up and that's not a woman, dude. But that can be one of the increments to your motivation of success, but if that is what it is, then you already lost, my guy. You're already losing the game of life. You're distracted. That right there is for the young fellas because the older a man usually gets, the, the smarter he gets. So we know not to play these games because in a woman's nature, she's gonna be submissive in that way to the man that she wants to be with. So that's why when you come in as a real man, you have to know how to walk away. She don't give you that walk away, it's games. People just make things more complicated than what it really is. Think about the times where did have relationships, had a nice bond with somebody. It was just easy. It was so easy that you didn't even have to prove yourself. The moment that you have to prove yourself as a man, you're losing. Walk the f away. That is not the game that you want to play. The only person you should be proving yourself to is yourself, not anybody else. That means you're starting to live for somebody else instead of who you really are. Let's put it like this, think about it. We don't fight wars anymore, right? Male testosterone continues to decrease by a percent every year because we're in such this comfortable and push button society. I mean, I'm making videos on the side for profit. Just push a button and talk to 
a damn camera. The reality is, men are not sought after in war for protection, for providing. Women know how to do that on their own. They can do that on their own. We're not hunting animals anymore. We're not hunting prey. We're not hunting food. You can go down the street and get you a bird. But this is exactly why you as a man have to find a purpose, whether that be sports, basketball, whatever. Put all your energy and your focus into that. Even if this woman is a good woman, she has to prove herself to you. She has to prove herself as to how can she be a peaceful factor in your life. You know why? Because you're not bringing any chaos into your guy's life. If you already logically know where you're going, if you already logically know how you're leading and living your life, then why should you have to prove yourself? Why should you have to play any games? There is no games when you've mastered it. When you're playing the game for yourself and not for others. That's when so many doors open up for you without you even trying. That's when your options increase without you even putting in any work on any outside factor. Anything else is just a distraction. It's a distraction to you from you getting to where you want to be. And that is nothing but the truth. At the end of the day, women know this. They know this, but they have so many men willing to do so much for them for free. And the, the men are not even letting the women prove themselves to them. Even the men with money, even rich men, you're just a, a beta and a simp with money. It doesn't change the fact of your behavior. That's when women get to this point where they look at all men as the same. They look at all men as bots. Because a lot of men are doing the same damn thing in her inbox, telling her the same thing. A lot of men do not have that self-control as to be able to walk away because of the desperation and the thirst. <laughs> the desperation and the thirst is what keeps men in such a scarcity mindset. And I'm here to remind you that, hey, brother, that's not where you wanna be, fam. You wanna be in a place where you can pick your options. You can pick who you want in your life, not the other way around. If it feels like you're putting energy into something that's not giving you anything in return, Fuego conceptualize what I said here today. And I'll catch you in the next one.